Happy Tuesday, I'm Cassandra and this is Cooking with Cass Rico. Welcome back for another recipe review. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. I'm going to be doing these recipe reviews now every other Tuesday versus every Tuesday. And I know the last recipe review I mentioned that I'd be back on track for every week. But honestly, it's just becoming a lot. I feel like it's kind of taking up time from me being able to create my own recipes and post those for you. So I feel like every other week is perfect. I I also have some new content that I'm really excited to put out. I told you last time that I've been working hard. It's now spring, if you can't tell by how green it is behind me. And I've been really busy with something that I have been looking forward to for so long, like practically my whole life. So I'm excited to share that. And that is going to be added to my line of videos that I drop, so. Today, this recipe review is so, it's not different than what I usually eat on a day-to-day -day basis, but I had no idea everyone else was doing it or else I probably wouldn't have, but I'm sure you've seen it on your feed as well. And I guess I made the mistake of clicking on a couple of the videos, which led me to more, and then now it's just all I'm getting recommended. But basically, today I, as well as everyone else, I tried the viral TikTok baked oats recipe. So basically, that's, I mean, it is what it is. It's baked oats. And I saw a couple videos that some came out more like a cake, others came out more like runny oatmeal, which I love. So I was okay with either one. I was okay with getting a cake in a mug, which is what it reminded me of, or getting some runny oats. So the first person I saw on my feed, and I just happened to click on the video because I was curious, like I said, it reminded me of the cake in a mug, and those never looked appetizing to me, but this was oats, and I'm always trying to find new ways to spice up my oatmeal. So this is from Harshita's Kitchen, and I will link her videos down below but she had a gang of oats that she showed I think I watched every single one of her videos she had brownie baked oats she had chocolate chip cookie strawberry shortcake Reese's peanut butter cups she had an apple one that just looked so delicious and I think that might be it or since then I'm sure she's added more but they're just these quick videos she's doing everything on the small in this small little blender and then she bakes them shows you what it looks like at the end and I was hooked and I was like this can't be very hard which it absolutely wasn't so everyone wants to remind you over and over again that this is a low calorie and a healthy breakfast option so it all depends on what you put in it of course oatmeals can turn very unhealthy very quickly and i I thought that I was originally going to make the strawberry shortcake one because that is definitely the one I wanted and we had fresh organic strawberries here and then I was going to make the chocolate chip cookie dough one and me and my boyfriend were going to split it down the middle and share so I could try both but then I gave him the option asked which one he wanted and of course he had to choose the peanut butter one and I did not want that much peanut butter so I ended up keeping mine which was the strawberry shortcake and I'm so happy I did it came out better than I thought honestly and I did try the chocolate peanut butter one and that was straight up chocolate and peanut butter <laughs> 
like I said, I will link these recipes specifically in my description below. You can check it out, go on TikTok, see all the different combinations and all the craziness everyone's getting into there. If you do try this out or you already have, let me know. I would love to hear from you. all the comments and it seemed like a lot of people did go with the microwave option and they still loved the results so for both of these recipes they were pretty much exactly the same you're just swapping out certain ingredients for the flavor that you're trying to reach which makes sense so it's the oats your plant-based milk or any milk you want to use and then you're adding baking powder which is giving it that lightness that fluff when you bake it and it's giving you that cake texture if that's what you're going for I used one tablespoon of maple syrup in both of them I think that for next time I will skip the maple syrup because I read someone's comment that they used monk fruit sweetener instead and it came out really good so I do want to go that route next time but I always like to try it the way the creator intends for it to be first so the maple syrup was really good and I did feel like one tablespoon was perfect. I can't imagine putting in more than that because it was already really sweet. Yeah, it was honestly so easy. As you can see, I mean, this did not take very much time. It's just like making a smoothie, you put it all in there and then you blend it all up. You pour it into your oven safe dish and then you top it with whatever you'd like. You can go crazy with the toppings, get creative, use your imagination. I stuck with the ones in the recipe and they were great, but next time I make it, I will switch it around and try different things. as it was to make it. If you like oatmeal, this just totally takes your oatmeal to the next level, maybe a few levels up. If you're always trying to spice it up and see if you could do anything different with it, I definitely recommend you trying this. It seems like it wouldn't be good or good for you. It does seem like it would be full of sugar, but you're in control of what you put in it. And honestly, it is just 
baked oats so don't feel guilty trying it if you love it make it every day i did see in comments that this is people's new favorite breakfast that they are constantly making now so that's really what got me to try this and it smells amazing while it's baking it really doesn't take long and i'm sure you can always prepare the oats at night and then just preheat your oven when you get up in the morning pop it in for about 15 to 20 minutes and then you'll have yourself a decadent dessert before work or before you start your day we loved it we will definitely be trying different combos and I mean it really doesn't take any longer than me making regular oats so I do appreciate this new recipe to try out and I'm glad I did it it was really worth it the only substitutes I used for these recipes, I'm looking at the strawberry shortcake one and I used no subs. I just followed the recipe, but next time I do it, I'm going to use regular chocolate chips versus white chocolate chips. The white chocolate chips were really good. Maybe I'll mix it, mix them both in, but I just really love chocolate. And for the peanut butter filled ones, I did substitute the cocoa powder for, for cacao powder and that's, I mean, I'm going to do that anytime a recipe asks for cocoa powders, but I'm just letting you guys know. And we didn't have plain yogurt, so I did use vanilla bean yogurt, which I don't think changed the flavor at all or anything because you do add vanilla into it. so. It was a great sub. I, I don't know the difference, but I think it worked for what it was supposed to do. And yeah, that was really it. And I baked both of mine for about, I would say 18 minutes. I sent the timer for 15 minutes and then I let them sit for another couple and then I turned it off. So it wasn't the full 20 minutes. I didn't really want that cake texture, but Maybe next time I'll try that. And yeah, I would give this recipe a thumbs up and I do recommend it. I think it's really, I love recipes where you can use your own imagination and do what you want with it. I think those are the best. And if you hate cooking or really have never gotten into it, I think these are really good ones to start with because you can see what flavors go together, what you like, what you don't like, and then eventually add that into bigger things when you bake or when you cook on a stove. You can start seeing how things come together, what you need, what you don't need. So yeah. That's, that's the conclusion of this recipe. Thanks for tuning in once again. If you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to do that on your way out. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and want to see more. I really would appreciate it. It lets me know that you're still tuning in and you do still want this content. And if you don't, that's okay. I don't have to do it. But I always appreciate feedback, recommendations, and I want to know if you try this out or not. So take care. Until next time, I will see you then. Have a great week. And yeah.